La vida, la vida, neto, neto. The enemy coming, I can't protect them. Another one shining, another one diamond. I live the victory, I'm never dying. I've been at the time, made it straight from the bottom. I never gave up, and so no one can stop them. Uh, no one can stop them. I picked it up in the wood, I could drop. Never get a check from the blood and the sweat manifest. What it means when you gotta be the best from the red to the set. Put the body in the bench, that's muscle what it takes when you want a big flex. Uh, never do the taste of defeat. I'm the king in the street, know the taste of my feet. Mwah. Kissing the ring to the beat, yeah, I had to go big, not a price ain't FGC takes on Thomas University. At this time, before we get underway, we would like to ask that you all rise and remove your hats for the play of our national anthem. Basketball fans, sanctioned by the NJCAA and brought to you by Security Safe Company, it's ball time. Introducing first, the starting lineup for the visiting team. Wearing number one, Xavier Cobb. Wearing number two, Jonah Winfrey. Wearing number three, Bryant Graham Davis. Wearing number 10, Imka Ekpe. Wearing number 12, TJ Tarver. Their head coach, Ed Culpepper. And now, introducing next, they are the starting lineup for our home team. Introducing first, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, standing 6'6", six, six, number zero, Oakley Lewis. From Rochester, Minnesota, he stands 6'2", Number one, Antoine Weber. And from right here in Lake City, Florida, he stands 6'4", four, number four, Tyjon Wright. And from the Virgin Islands, standing 6'1", wearing number five, Amayor Phillips. And from New York, New York, standing at even six feet, wearing number 20, Ladies and 
gentlemen, and welcome to the second consecutive night of FGC Timberwolf Basketball live from the Howard Center. Tonight, the 13 and 8 Timberwolves take on the Thomas University Nighthawks. Just about getting ready to tip off here. Starting lineups for the Wolves is Emeo Phillips, Antoine Weber, Oakley Lewis, Tejon Wright, and Jazz and Johnson. Johnson coming off a fine game last night, 15 points. First time in the starting lineup this season, a sophomore from New York, New York. We saw some slam bam jams from New York last night, two of them. The Wolves get off to a quick start with a male Phillips. Wolves come in with a blowout win last night against the Pasco Hernando State Bobcats here at the Howard Center. Weber with the rebound, strong rebound, up to Phillips, back up to Lewis. Lewis is gonna put it up for the Wolves, nothing there, but back up to right. Foul on the Nighthawks non-shooting foul, the first team foul on the Nighthawks. Crowd still coming in here at a seven o'clock starting time, non-conference game here for the Wolves. Wolves overall record, as I mentioned earlier, was 13 and eight, three and two in the conference with another seven games in conference. Nice basket by Weber. Another uh, seven games in conference, I believe three at home still for the Wolves, very important, every win there. And they'll be going on to Palm Beach State College in Lake Worth, Florida for that championship series. All four teams will compete in that um, this year. Nice board by Lewis from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Lewis lost the ball. Nice passing by the Wolves here early. 1841, you're watching FGC TV on Comcast Channel 8 in Lake City, Florida. Also FGC Facebook Live, and of course, Florida Gateway College YouTube channel. Reach in by Johnson. That's his first, first team foul for the Wolves. Special shout out to Gloria Jordan. Her husband, David Jordan, told me yesterday was Gloria's 39th birthday. Gloria, a long time employee at the college for over 25 years at least. Happy birthday, belated happy birthday to Gloria Jordan. One of our favorite fans, Patsy Love, is watching on FGC TV. As she did last night, said, let's go Wolves. Also, McDaniel Becky said, let's go Wolves. Time to work. Keep out and send in those Facebook comments. We'll announce all of them right here on FGC TV. Strong board by Weber. Broxy, the freshman from Lake City, Florida, from Columbia High, now in the game. Timberwolf ball. The Wolves part of the Sun Lakes Conference standings. Remember, they're second place with an overall record of 13 and eight. And first place is Florida State College at 18 and five. And third place is Palm Beach State at 13 and 10. And of course, rounding that the division is Pasco Hernandez the State with an overall record of one and 17. Have lost 14 in a row. Nice three-pointer by the Nighthawks. Okay. 
Travel on Broxy. Will be the Hawks ball. Crowd still coming in. At game time, we had 272 people at the, the gate. Can't remember the gate. Broxy with the foul. That's the fourth team foul, first on Broxy. Cheerleaders cheering on the Timberwolves here. Another three pointer out by the Nighthawks. Nighthawks take the lead for the first time at 17 06 here in the first half. A little sloppy play for the Wolves early on. Nothing there. It'll be. Timberwolf ball. Even Oakley Lewis thought it was Nighthawks ball. Lewis with the basket for the Wolves. delay in the in the game right here I don't know if somebody uh, had a little blood on there on on the court you're watching FGC TV gives me an opportunity to name our sponsors and we'll talk about all our sponsors Remember, the premier sponsor of Florida Gateway College Timberwolf basketball of the season is Security Safe Company. Security Safe has more than 35 years serving Florida families and businesses with personalized attention and dedicated customer service. Trust Security Safe for all your home and small business security systems, commercial security alarm systems, video surveillance systems, smart home automation solutions, and more. That's Security Safe. It's built on quality, reliability, and and innovation. That's Security Safe Company right here in Lake City. Premier sponsor. Nice steal by Weber. Slam, bam, jam from our All American Antoine Johnson. Here comes another one, ladies and gentlemen. Slam, bam, he missed a jam though. Technical, holding on to the basket. Timeout here by the Nighthawks. 30 second timeout will remain here. Antoine Johnson, we thought was going to have another back to back slam, bam, jam. Just missed it. Maybe next time, Antoine. You can see Antoine sometimes. I think at Fitness and Nutrition 1075, kickstarting. Healthy lifestyles for your personal training, fitness, and nutritional needs. Contact Fitness and Nutrition 1075. Fitness and Nutrition 1075.com, located at 114 Southwest Waterford Court, 105 Lake City, Florida, 32025. Offensive pushed off by number one. That was Xavier Gar uh, Cobb, the senior from Jacksonville, Florida. 
for the Nighthawks. Crowd still coming in here at the Howard Center. Nice pass off to, beautiful pass by Phillips off to right, and White right was fouled, he'll shoot two for the Wolves. Beautiful play, brought the defender over and passed it off, flipped that pass. Phillips the leading scorer for the Wolves this season from the Virgin Islands. Wright misses the first one for the Wolves. Tejan Wright, the freshman from Lake City, Columbia High, right here in Lake City, Florida. Tejan makes the one out of two. Foul on Broxy, that will be his second foul. The fourth team foul for the Wolves. Coming in for the Wolves will be Joseph Mitchell. He'll replace Broxy, who's got two quick fouls here with 15.37 left here in the first half here at the Howard Center. Comes Phillips, going to try to push the ball up here for the Wolves. Oakley Lewis for the three-pointer, in and out for the Wolves. He really wanted that one. Nice three-pointer by number three on the Nighthawks. That's Brian Graham and Davis, the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Right with a nice move to the baseline, puts in the layup for the Wolves. Nighthawks come into the game with just seven players, only two reserves, while Wolves come in fully, fully players with 12. Mayo Phillips misses the three-pointer. Wright's gonna try to pop it for the Wolves. Oh, net for Tejan Wright. We have immediate timeout here at the Howard Center where the Florida Gateway College Timberwolves 14, the Thomas University Nighthawks 10. We'll be back in just a moment here on FGC TV. We're back here at FGC TV. You are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments. Start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. We're back here on FGC TV. I want to show you this replay, ladies and gentlemen, of just a moment ago. We're back here on FGC TV. A couple of error on the announcer's part. Right off to Oakley Lewis. A little out of control, gets it off. Back out to Mayo Phillips. Gonna try to top, pop it from the top of the key. Nothing there. Joe Mitchell will be, it was fouled and he'll shoot two for the Wolves. A lot of Joe Mitchell fans out here near the PA announcer tonight. Mitchell short on that one. Mr. 
misses both of them. Nice move on the Wolves. Weber's gonna try to play the three-pointer. Nothing there, here comes Nighthawks. Reach in by Tejon Wright, that will be the fifth team foul. First uh, individual foul on Tejon. Weber, off to right. Bunch of Wolves up there, but can't put it in for the Wolves. Crowd still coming in here at the Howard Center. Nice air ball, but it went in to the other player, the Nighthawks, and they put it in. Nighthawks may be understaffed, but they're definitely playing the Wolves tight. Phillips is uh, fouled and he'll shoot two for the Wolves. Coming in for the Wolves will be Axel Holmquist from Fleming Island, Florida. Alex is not, Axel is not checked in yet. Couldn't see his number there. Larry Gunner, a long time. Alex is not, Axel is not checked in yet. Long-term faculty member here at the college. Larry Gunner, check it in on Facebook Live, watching FGC TV here. Long-term faculty member here at the college. I forget there's a delay time as I'm listening to our Facebook Live feed here. Hard to announce live while I'm doing the Facebook Live too, but I'll get it straight, I just turned off the volume. Nighthawks way off the mark. Axel Holmquist with the rebound. Here comes Mitchell. Weber with the move and the basket for the Wolves. Special shout out to Mayo Phillips' family out there. They say, let's go Wolves for the win. Nighthawks with a nice three-pointer. Holmquist back out to Weber. Weber's looking to get it off to Holmquist. Goes back door, back out to Antoine Weber. Nice passing, moving that ball around by the Wolves. Foul on, on the Nighthawks. Don't, was out of bounds, no foul called. Special shout out to all the people watching, but especially Shawana Wilson, who's missed the last two games. Shawana, we know you're watching this game. And we can't wait for you to get back here for the scorer's table and helping those cheerleaders. Nice pass from Weber to Mitchell, who puts it in. Wolves have a little run going right now. Coming in for the Wolves at the bench is will be Tariq Pitts. Right with the rebound. Off to Weber, off to Holmquist, who puts in a nice layup for the Wolves. 
24-15 at 10.33 mark here in the first half. You're watching FGC TV live from the Howard Center on Comcast Channel 8, Facebook Live, and of course, the Florida Gateway College YouTube channel. Nice block by Mitchell. It will remain the Nighthawks ball. Tariq Pitts is in the game, the freshman from Niceville, Florida. Here comes Mayo Phillips was going to do a behind the back move. He was fouled before that. He'll shoot two for the Wolves. Mayo is averaging 27.3 points per game in conference, 20 points per game total for the season. Shawana Wilson gave me a little shout out, says, I'll be back tomorrow, Doc. I miss being there. Hope all is well with you. Talk to CC this evening. Can't wait to see you back and your smiling face on campus. Nighthawks with the ball. Nice three-pointer by number one, Xavier Cobb, the senior from Jacksonville, Florida for the Nighthawks. Weber with the screen is going to pop the three-pointer. Nothing there, but Holmquist is going to go up, put it in for the Wolves. Axel Holmquist, a freshman from Columbia, Island, Florida, showing his aggressiveness. It'll be a timeout here, and we'll take a break here on FGC TV. We'll be back in just a moment. Nice replay there, guys. Tactical crew, Hunter Neely on camera. Of course, there's uh, Bobby Charles doing all the work in that studio, along with the, make, the maker who makes it all happen, the director, Lance Bass. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget about the Columbia Drip Bar. Be restored, be refreshed, be healthy. Revitalize your wellness at Columbia Drip Bar. Experience personalized drips for immediate results and long-lasting vitality. Columbia Drip Bar specializes in IV solutions to better many aspects of your well-being. Columbia Drip Bar is located at 2218 West U.S. Highway 90, Suite 102 in Lake City, Florida, and you can find them on the web at ColumbiaDripBar.com. That's Columbia Drip Bar, proud sponsor of Florida Gateway College Timberwolf Basketball. 919 left here in the first here, here at the Howard Center with the Wolves with a 26 18 lead over the Nighthawks from Thomas University. Next home game for the Wolves will be a week from this Saturday. Which is, excuse me, is a uh, week from next Saturday against Pasco Hernando State here at 2 o'clock on a Saturday home game. Nice basket by the Nighthawks. Here comes Weber for the Wolves. Trying to get that ball into Axel Humpus, but no need for that. Three-pointer from Amel Phillips from the Virgin Islands. Foul on Phillips. Coming in for the Wolves will be Jazz and Johnson. Giving Mayo Phillips a little rest here. Johnson off a really good game against Pasco Hernandez State yesterday. 15 points in his first start for the season for the Wolves. Coach Ruiz went very small early on the Bobcats and was a very early blowout for the Wolves. Johnson with the boards for the Wolves. He'll bring it up. He's going to try to penetrate. Goes from his right hand to his left hand. Baseline to baseline from Jazz and Johnson. And the uh, Nighthawks come right back. 
Nice move by Antoine Weber. Pitch with the rebound. Here comes Johnson. Johnson's going to try to pop the 15 footer. Nothing there. Weber with the ball. Holmquist is going to try to pass it in. To nice move by Joseph Mitchell. Nice passing by the Wolves, being unselfish here. Takes a 13 point spurt here with the lead for the Wolves. Weber with the reverse up. Pitts tries to put it back up for the Wolves. Nothing there. Weber a little tangled up with number 12, T.J. Tarver there, the sophomore from Bainbridge, Georgia, for the Nighthawks. Coming in for the first action of the, the game is number 11. Israel Yacht, here comes... Nice play by Axel Holmquist. People were looking for him to do the dunk, but nothing there. He'd rather get to two points, solid two points. Great game by Holmquist. Off the mark, here comes Weber with the boards. Mitchell was looking for it. He's fouled away from the ball. That will be the seventh team foul. He'll shoot the one and one for the Wolves. Also coming in for the Wolves will be number 15, Demasay Shepard. And we'll have a timeout here. And we'll take a full timeout here on FGC TV and be back in just a moment. We get to see the razzle dazzle and the basket of Antoine Weber on the nice replay here on FGC TV. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Special shout out to Timberwolf cheerleaders, Marquis Key Chambers, Gabri Gabby Daniels, Selena Girardo, Tassadi Irvine, Jocelyn Jenkins, Tiana Myers, Ayana Salmon, Aaron Starling, Madison Taylor, and Ak Kiki Uriam Wheeler. That's the Florida Gateway College Timberwolves. Those names are really hard. Shawana has to teach them to me every game because I always get them wrong. Mitchell with the first one, all net for the Wolves. Some comments about my razzle dazzle. That's old school. That shows that I'm a, an old man here up in the booth. Still know my basketball. Nice steal by Pitts behind the back. A nice basket. Basket's good. What a play by the Wolves. They're playing teamwork tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Nice block. Stepped on the line, Mitchell will, it will be uh, Thomas University Nighthawks ball. Wolves with an 18 point lead, a big spurt here. 
between the 10 minute and five minute mark for the Wolves, leading 40-22 over the Nighthawks from Thomas University. You're watching FGC TV on Comcast Channel 8, also Facebook Live, and also the Florida Gateway College YouTube channel. All the action here in Lake City, Florida. Attendance this evening, 372. Once again, leading the Sun Lakes Conference in attendance. And it will be the Nighthawks ball. seconds on the shot clock for the Nighthawks. Rebound by Johnson. Jasmine will bring it up. Nice pass to Mitchell, but a little high. Daniel Becky watching us on Facebook Live said, awesome, steal points. Nice three-pointer by number three, Brian Graham, and Grant Graham Davis, the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia, the forward for the Nighthawks. Coming back in the game is Oakley Lewis for the Wolves. Nice play by Jazzin Johnson. Went the baseline, went the opposite, and put it in his left hand and put it in for the Wolves. Johnson with the steal, loses control. Coming back in for the Wolves will be Tejon Wright and Oakley Lewis. Tejon from Lake City, Florida, and Oakley Lewis from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Three seconds left on the shot clock. 20 back on the shot clock for the Nighthawks. Johnson with the rebound. He's going to look. Going to be fouled. No slam bam before that, but Jazz and Johnson will shoot two for the Wolves. Jazz and family's here tonight. We're here last night too. Good to see them here. I haven't been to too many games. It's a tough away for families that live away, not here in Lake City, but glad when they're here. Glad to have Jazz and with us this season and for two seasons for the Timberwolves. Johnson made the first one for the Wolves. 3-10 left here in the first half. Misses the second one. Yon with the ball off to Johnson. Johnson to Shepard. Shepard loses control. They say it's the Nighthawks ball. Nice pass from Johnson to Shepard. Forty-three twenty-five, eighteen point lead here for the Wolves with two thirty-eight left here in the first half here at the Howard Center. Lewis with the board off to Johnson. Johnson sees nothing there. He's going to bring it back for the Wolves. Penetrates off to Shepard. Shepard wasn't expecting the ball. Nice pass by Johnson.
Good to see David Herner, Sandra Johnson, and Sean McMahon, all outstanding faculty members here watching the Wolves game this evening. And remember Gloria jo Jordan's belated birthday, 39th birthday yesterday, according to David, her husband. Happy birthday out there to Gloria. Nice rejection by Shepard. Nice basket by Israel Yacht. Took it half court to the baseline and put in a nice layup for the Wolves. Proxy was going to come back in. Now they sent him back. Nice rotation being applied by the Wolves this evening. Shepard with the rebound. And it will be Timberwolf ball with just over one minute. One minute and 14 seconds left here in the first half. Don't forget all the snacks at our snack shack at the concession stand or by Sunstop Convenience Store. Our proud concession stand sponsor. Stop in Sun Shop all the time. Nice three pointer there by Tejon Wright. Don't forget about Sunstop featuring Eats Deli located at 1166 Duval Street and 2398 Southeast Bay Drive in Lake City. The premier convenience store at all the snacks here at, the at our snack shack here. Here come the Wolves. Nighthawks have the numbers and they make the basket. Shepard's going to try to put it in for the Wolves. A little off. He's going to still get his rebound. Backcourt violation on the Wolves with 8.3 seconds left. Nighthawks will get a shot to uh, cut this deficit down with 8.3 seconds left here in the first half. You're watching FGC TV on Comcast Channel 8, Facebook Live, or the FGC YouTube channel. Daphne Davis says, nice shot, Yon. Mom here from Tallahassee. Broadcast all over the place. Tallahassee, Florida, the Virgin Islands, Saratoga Springs, New York. And that's the halftime is all. We're going to halftime, ladies and gentlemen, on FGC TV with the Florida Gateway College Timberwolves, 48, and the Thomas University Nighthawks, 27. We'll be back for the second half shortly right here on FGC TV. Inland Stores helps you save big at the pump with the Sunny Saver debit card. You save up to 10 cents a gallon every time you fill up. Stop by any Inland Store and pick up your Sunny Saver card. It's simple, it's safe, and there are no fees. Best of all, you'll start saving immediately. And while you're filling up, you can use your card to make in-store purchases. Go to your nearest Inland Store and pick up your card today.
Understood me when I told them giants in the room is where I could be, and I should be. I will, and I am now. Looking at the kid like I turn into a cash cow. I don't need a lesson on the business 'cause you cashed out. You are like Bob. I'm a flame. Take the win, take the win, take the win. Rings on my knuckles, sunlight, dirty clean. I cannot realize how you are gonna make amends. Make it how they pop out and they gotta take the win. Take the win, take the win, take the win. Rings on my knuckles. Friendly faces all around, yes, ma'am. 'Cause I made a move, made a scene, made a plan. Pull up in the land, throw back to the minivan. Big baller hustle, that's the way to make it stand. In the fans, in the stands, in the stands. Quicker than the ones trying to catch me with their hands. That's adrenaline when I beat their defense. I just stayed ahead. The result. Gotta take a win. Take the win, take the win. Rings on my knuckles, sunlight, dirty clean. I cannot realize how you are gonna make amends. Make it how they pop out and they gotta take the win. Take the win, take the win, take the win. Rings on my knuckles, sunlight, dirty clean. I cannot realize how you are gonna make amends. Make it how they pop out and they gotta take the win. Said I might just hit my dance for the folks, no joke. 
For the folks, no joke. Hundred on the dash, all gas, no brakes. Watch me do my dance and shake. Listen, you're more than your successes. You're more than your failures. Everything you got. You got this. You're the work. It's dirty work. It's work that hurts. It's work that defines you. It's that fire that burns inside you. It's always been you. You're the work. You want that smoke? Give him that fire.
St. Thomas Nighthawks with the Wolves with a 21 point lead here. And we're just about to start the second half. Next home game will be a week from this Saturday where the Wolves will take on the Pasco Hernando Bobcats in a rematch of last night where the Wolves won by over 40 points. The Wolves entered tonight's game with an overall record of 13 and eight, three and two in conference. This is the best record the Wolves have had this early in the season or mid season, I should say, um, since its reception in over six seasons. Wolves are usually playing for 500 at this point, but having a very excellent season. Um, I look for the Wolves to finish about the 19 or 20 win mark this season. No more non-conference games. This is the final non-conference game against the Nighthawks this evening. The rest of the games at home and away are conference competition. Seven more games for the Wolves. Logan Godfrey in the game for the Wolves. Picked up the quick foul. Got a lot of great comments about the halftime show here with our cheerleaders. Somebody said it's spiffy. That's old school, a little spiffy out there. Also Christian Wilson, a former Timberwolf player for two years for us up there in, I believe in Savannah, Georgia, said, man, I wish I could be there and catch a game in person. Well, hopefully you may be able to get to one of these Saturday games, Christian. Hope to see you there soon. Diehard Timberwolf fan. Got to meet this at halftime, Antoine Weber's mother and good friend all the way here from Minnesota. They catch all the games here on FTC TV. And nice shot by Broxy for the three-pointer for the Wolves. Made the trip all the way from Minnesota to see Antoine Weber. Glad they could get out here for the game. The first time I believe they've come out for a game. A long trek, so dedicated. Great young man, Antoine Weber, the All-American from Minnesota. Second year for the Wolves. Off the, off the Nighthawks leg. Time out here by the Nighthawks with just over a minute being played with 19.01 left. And we're gonna keep it right here on FGC TV. Don't forget about HCA Florida Lake City Hospital. HCA Florida Lake City Hospital is committed to offering advanced healthcare services with compassion, patient-focused approach in the community. We live here and work here and are part of the Lake City community. That's HCA, Florida Lake City Hospital. Also we'll remind you, another proud sponsor of the women's Timberwolf softball, the premier sponsor, but also the sponsor of all Timberwolf athletics is the O'Neill Companies. O'Neill Companies has 51 years of experience, knowledge, and resources. Expect beauty and durability with custom-built O'Neill products. O'Neill Company is proudly serving the Southeast. We have the experience and the resources to ensure your job gets done right. That's O'Neill'sCompany.com, located at 212 Southeast Hickory Drive, Lake City, Florida, 32025. That's O'Neill Company, who does most of the roofs here at the Florida Gateway College campus and most of them in all of Lake City. What a proud sponsor. Quality workmanship. That's O'Neill Company right here in Lake City, Florida. Mayo Phillips back in the game for the Wolves, leading scorer for the Wolves. Roxy will inbound the ball for the Wolves. Godfrey gonna take the shot for the Wolves, puts it in. Logan Godfrey. The freshman six foot seven center from Tallahassee, Florida. Be Wolves ball, error passed by the Nighthawks.
Phillips guarding heavily the Nighthawks. Nice rebound by Weber. Off to Godfrey, who's in control of the ball. Here comes Broxy, puts in the layup for the Wolves. At 17.44. Roxy will inbound the ball for the Wolves. See if Coach Ruiz designs a play here, gets it ready for the postseason action. Clock never started, so the thing is, is that Happened there for the Wolves. Godfrey tries to put the ball in, nothing there. Here comes the Nighthawks. Blocked by Godfrey. Cut it will remain um, Nighthawks ball. Good to see Ben Skipper, our number one fan. Hasn't ever missed a game, I think, in the six years, the rebirth of Timberwolf basketball. Nice basket by the Nighthawks. Ben, the director of public safety for the county. Slam, bam, jam by Tariq Pitts. That's from Southwest Florida. That was a nice shot from Niceville, Florida from Slam, bam, jam from Tariq Pitts. Godfrey with the rebound. Weber tried to pass it in to Broxy, nothing there. Air ball by the Nighthawks. Off night for Phillips with a shot. Pitts guards heavily the Nighthawks player. Phillips stripped of the ball and remained Wolves ball with 15-35 with the Wolves with a 27 point lead. Good to see Tony Johnson, a former FGC Timberwolf. The game, nice play, nice pass from Broxy to Weber. Basket by the Nighthawks. Here comes Phillips with the ball. Weber with a long three pointer, nothing there. Foul by Weber. Next timeout will be a media timeout, full timeout. 
Nice steal by Weber is going to pop the three-pointer from the corner. Makes it, steals, and puts the three-pointer in. His mom and her friend are very, very happy here at the Granger section. 30-point lead here for the Wolves. Nice left-handed hook shot by number 10, Emika Epke, the freshman from Loganville, Georgia for the Nighthawks. Pitts is gonna try the three for the Wolves. Weber goes up for the boards and puts it in. Antoine Weber, strong boards and puts it in for the Wolves. Comes Broxy down to Phillips is going to pop the 12-footer in and out just to fall for Mayo tonight. Late foul on the Wolves. That'll be on Broxy, his third. We're going to go to immediate timeout here. We'll be back on FTC TV in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Bring it. Bye guys. You guys need a ride? Sure. Yeah. All right. Have us some one on one. Uh, I gotta go eat, man. Sorry. I'll, I'll see you later. Back here at the FGC. Howard Center, where the FGC Timberwolves have a huge lead, 30-point lead, over the St. Thomas University Nighthawks. Give you a quick update on the Sun Lake Conference standings. Florida Gateway College is second place with an overall record of 13 and eight, six and four in the last 10 games. I believe three and two in the conference. Leading the conference is the Florida State College of Jacksonville Blue Wave with an overall record of 18 and five. I believe they are undefeated in the Sun Lakes Conference. In third place is the Palm Beach State team with an overall record of 13 and 10, five and five in the last 10 games, and followed up in last place is Pasco Hernando State Bobcats with an overall record of one and 17, 0 and 10 in their last 10 games. They've lost 14 straight games. Weber with the hustle takes the ball. He is fouled. He traveled, excuse me, being a Nighthawks ball. Nice hustle by Antoine Weber. Coming in for the Wolves will be Jason Johnson, Oakley Lewis, and also Joe Mitchell. Broxy with the ball for the Wolves from Columbia High, the freshman from Lake City, Florida. Also in the game is nice rebound and puts it in. That's Nathaniel Mobley, number 44, the sophomore from Lake City, Florida, six foot eight, seeing his first action of the game. Nice to see Nathaniel getting some points in here right off the bench. Right. 
Nice basket by number three, Brian Graham Davis, the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia, for the Nighthawks. Phillips tries the three-pointer, nothing there. Mobley's going to be fouled, and he'll shoot two for the Wolves. Also coming in for the Wolves is Tejon Wright, followed by Lewis, Mitchell, and Johnson. Mobley makes the first. Lewis is fouled. Each team has three team fouls. Lewis will shoot two for the Wolves. In and out. <clears throat> Lewis misses both for the Wolves. Nice move by Jason Johnson for the Wolves. 30 point lead, 70 40. Nice basket by Wright. Tejan, the freshman from Columbia High. One of three players recruited by Coach Rees this year from Columbia High. Total of four players from Columbia High with uh, Nathaniel Mobley also on the team. Mobley with a nice strong board off the right. Slam, bam, one-handed jam. Tejon Wright.
Nice three-pointer there by Brian Graham Davis. Wolves averaging 92 points per game. Mobley follows up Wright's three-pointer. Everyone's getting into the game tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Timberwolves 76, Nighthawks 43. Mobley with the boards again. Johnson out to Lewis, who's gonna take it to the basket, nothing there. Mobley with the board and puts it in. Nathaniel Mobley, great game here. His family's out here too. Time out here on FGC TV. Hey, a special shout out to everyone here on FGC TV. We finally got a shot of me. My mother and father used to say I have a great face for radio, not television. I want to be a shout out thanks to all the loyal listeners for the past six years here on FGC TV. At all, when we bring you all the Florida Gateway College Timberwolf basketball. We're going to be bringing you some softball games throughout the season and potentially some flag football. We're going to have a few different announcers here but always dedicated to FGC Timberwolf basketball. So proud of the young men, and so proud of this audience. So thank you all for listening and coming out to our games. We're very proud of the school and our team. Back here on FGC TV with 8.57 left here in the second half. You're watching FGC TV on Comcast Channel 8, Facebook Live, and of course YouTube FGC Channel. Lenled says Dustin Lee. Except in all your Facebook Live comments. Johnson leading the point for the Wolves. Oakley Lewis going to pop it from 18 foot out. All net for Oakley Lewis from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mitchell with the board off the right. Right thought about it. Right back out to Mitchell. Mitchell off to Johnson, is gonna try to pop the three-pointer. Nothing there, Mitchell with the rebound. He's gonna put it up for the Wolves. Stripped of the ball, nice play by the Nighthawks. Nice steal by Wright, off to Johnson. Nice try by Wright, and he is fouled. Wright will shoot two for the Wolves. Wright makes the first one. Tejan, as I said, the freshman from Columbia High for you right here in Lake City, Florida. Mitchell with the board, back out to Wright. Wright to Lewis, who puts it in for the Wolves off the backboard.
Lewis with the boards off to right. He's looking for Mitchell. Mitchell put it in with the layup. A little off for the slam bam jam. 85-45, looks like the Wolves will meet their season average of 92 points per game at least. Foul on the Wolves. Coming back in for the Wolves will be Axel. We'll take a break here. I was gonna say Axel is coming in for the Wolves, a big guy for the Wolves. We'll take a little media timeout here. Special shout out once again to the media premier sponsor, Safe Security Safe Company. Security Safe has more than 35 years serving Florida families and businesses with personalized attention and dedicated customer service. Trust Security Safe for all your home and small business security systems, video surveillance systems, smart home automation solutions, and more. Contact Security Safe today to start protecting your home or business with the best. Security Safe is built on quality, reliability, and innovation. That's Security Safe Company right here in Lake City, Florida. Coming in for the game is Axel Holmquist, the freshman six foot eight big man from Plumbing Island, Florida. His grandparents are probably watching us out here from Saratoga Springs, New York. As we say, we cover the world, cover the Virgin Islands, New York, New York, Minnesota, just about everywhere. Watching all the action right here on FGC TV. And of all, bringing it to you from Lance Bass, our executive director, makes it all happen. Bobby Charles. Helping out, as always, in the studio, and Hunter Neely on camera for the Wolves. Nighthawks will shoot two. Tarver makes his first. Makes both of them for the Nighthawks. Holmquist puts it in for the Wolves. Coach Riz playing all his players this evening. Mitchell with the rebound. Off to Yant, to Johnson. Johnson wants to make something of it. Nothing there. Nice hustle by Mitchell. We'll put it in for the Wolves. A lot of fans here for Joe Mitchell this evening. They're anonymous fans. They won't give me their names, but special out shout out they wanted me to do to Joe Mitchell, number 23, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. FGC cheerleaders waiting for the next media timeout behind the Timberwolves basket. Here comes Mitchell with the ball. Off to Yant. Yant with a nice move. Knocked out of bounds by the Nighthawks and will remain Timberwolves ball. Two back-to-back -to -back impressive wins for the Wolves. They'll go to 14 and eight on the season. 3-2 in conference, and they have a tough game this coming Saturday, February 3rd in Jacksonville against FSEJ. Yant with the nice move in the basket for the Wolves. I may try to get to that game on Saturday. That is at 2 p.m. Remember, women's softball this coming Saturday, the Gene Williams Field. Nice basket by the, 
by Thomas University. Another double header with Jimmy Williams. Initial inaugural season, first time in 16 years. They have an overall record, I believe, of three and three. Been split in a lot of double headers. Great time. We had about 550 people at their first game in over 16 years this past Saturday. Catch all the action here on FGC TV. So Holmquist is fouled. 16 foul, no shooting foul yet. Coming back in for the Wolves will be Nathaniel Mobley. Mitchell will be inbounding ball. Also coming in for the Wolves will be number 10, Isaac Broxy, the freshman from Lake City, Florida. Yon with a nice basket from 22 feet out for the Wolves. Nice basket by number 12, TJ Tarver, the sophomore from Bainbridge, Georgia, near Tallahassee. Conquist at the top of the key, loses control. Here comes the Nighthawks. And they put it in. And also in for the Wolves will be Logan Godfrey, the freshman from Tallahassee, Florida. Coach Ruiz getting all his players in, going big now. It's the last three minutes of the game. Mitchell puts in the, oh, in and out, but Holmquist follows it up. Axel Holmquist having a very, very strong game. The big man out of Fleming Island, Florida. Mitchell with the rebound. Wolves had the numbers. Shepard stripped of the ball. He's looking to do a slam bam jammer. Nice three pointer by number 12. Once again, that's TJ Tarver, the guard from Bainbridge, Georgia, for the Nighthawks. Yon with the rebound, tried to put it in here. Yon gets his own rebound. Loses control. Broxy off to Holmquist. Time out here with 219 here on FGC TV. Next home game a week from this Saturday, where the Timberwolves will be taking on the Pasco Hernando State Bobcats 2 p.m. game. Look at that nice shot by Joe Mitchell. Great pickup on the replay by the FGC technical crew. 99-54. Wolves will once again go into triple digits back-to-back -back games, averaging 92 points a game per game this season. Nice three-pointer by Xavier Cobb, the senior from Jacksonville, Florida. Wolves road game this coming Saturday against the Jacksonville Blue Wave, 2 p.m. starting time. Mobby tries to take the 18-footer outside. Nice move by the Thomas University. Next points, we'll put them in the triple digits to Triceville. Godfrey blocked the ball and remain Timberwolf ball with 129 left here in the second half. Godfrey off for Yacht, who will take the three-pointer. Nothing there. Mobley hustling after the ball, but loses control to the Nighthawks. Don't forget the women's softball game here at home this coming Saturday, 1 o'clock. It's a doubleheader. Here comes Yacht. Misses the slam, bam, jam. He is fouled and he'll shoot two for the Wolves to get us over that triple digit mark. 
53 seconds left. Yacht will shoot two for the Wolves. He's the freshman from Tallahassee, Florida. He makes the first one. We've hit triple digits. That's two games in a row, Timberwolves fans. This is the second. 100 to 60 right now, 40 point lead for the Wolves. Key is Saturday's game against the Blue Wave or undefeated in the Sun Lakes Conference. Wolves played him here, remember, in an overtime loss. Unfortunately, I was not there for that game. Um, would have loved to have been there, could not be there, but I will be for the next home game against the Blue Wave and the hometown Timberwolves. Wolves will run this down almost to the last seconds of the game, Broxy. Broxy puts it in with 12 seconds left. That will be the final score, 102-63. Wolves over the team. And as the game ends, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Timberwolves, second straight home victory, 102 to 63 over Saint over the Thomas University team. Be back here a week from Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, against Pasco Hernando. That's you've been listening to and watching FGC TV. That's all, folks. take on Pasco Hernando. Be sure to come in and support your FGC Wolfpack. Once again, we will be back here Saturday, February 10th as we take on Pasco Hernando at 2 o'clock p.m. <laughs>